Hello, and welcome back to Canarium. Yep, we're still going through everybody's personal effects, and they're not here. Locked. It's all free game. I mean, did I lock my door? I don't remember where my keys are. Oh, we we know we're Frank Gilman. That's one of the things that we remember. I didn't get that from what you said before. More pills. There's pills everywhere. All right, let's go to the crew quarters. Continuing to rummage through everybody's personal effects. Bunks. Hey, hanger. Where would you hang it? I guess right there. <laughs> Don't know why I found that strange. These nightmares have become unbearable. I still see the same man in my nocturnal visions, but now he's holding something in his hand, with which I believe to be a lotus flower. We seem to be continuing this grave and serious conversation again and again, but I still can't remember the contents. During the working hours, sometimes I hear his voice through the radio. It's not a form of meaningful sentences, but more like some unconscious mutterings. I'm afraid to tell anyone about this, for I hate the very idea of this. Hello? The suspension I will probably be facing. I mean, if you're going crazy... I found a secret. Okay. Is that secret the horrible sounds behind me? Hello? Anybody trying to freak me out here? No? Okay. I don't see how that was a secret, but okay. The beds are made. It's like they just walked... Here's another coat. It's like they just walked off into the... I don't know, butterfly. Like they walked out into the snow. Which is always healthy in Antarctica. Come on, goggles. And... Ketchup! Uh, what the... That is a freaky fucking statue. Whether it has its head or not. One of the composite sculptures we've come across during our initial field trips. It has an open third eye on its forehead as well as inside its hand, which I think it indicates some kind of state of knowing because allusions to knowledge and elder things reoccur all the time in almost every vast relief we have discovered so far. All this leads me to believe these creatures inhabiting those halls have acquired some kind of knowledge from the Elder Things, fabled creatures of primal myths. Several other examples of the composite sculptures, ranging from humanoid to reptile in shape, were mostly damaged and generally in a really bad shape. The lost parts were co completed by the artist's imagination. It's so fucking creepy. Those would look more bird-like than lizard-like, honestly. The abundance of five pointed shapes seen in the design of the structures we've come across cannot be overlooked. In addition, most of the elegant figures adorning and starring silently, and staring rather, silently from above most of the gigantic gateways are reptilian in shape. Uh, I guess those are kind of reptilian. Oh dear lord. This grotesque masonry caused an uproar within the continents it wore in its reptilian face when we first found it residing within the almost substantial darkness of the cave where it had been carved in aeons past. Some of the crew even claimed that they had heard some muffled laughing sounds coming from within. The pine cone it was guarding or hiding with its humanoid hands has some symbols carved into it which we are yet to decipher. Pine cone, huh? Like uh, that certain section of the brain, perhaps? Interesting. Another trophy item. Those, these things are everywhere. Oh, aren't you cute? Are you a developer, baby? Are you? Are you a developer, baby? Oh, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> so rude. Oh, yeah. It's a butterfly. I can fly twice as high. You know that, right? That's because I read. More children! Ugh! Children. Yuck. Well, aren't you a cutie? Get out of my sight. Half drink liquid. Yeah, it's like they just up and left. 
Same child over and over again. It's everywhere, staring at me from the photo. Ooh, key. Whose key is this? Dwight. That's the expedition leader, right? Alright, we'll go there later. Why would that be in somebody else's drawers? That doesn't make any sense. I am inclined more towards the notion that our nocturnal visions are not just faint and fantastic reflections of our waking experiences. Every time I pass into a state of dormancy, somehow I can explore while I am dreaming the vistas of grandeur, an alien prospect and unnatural disposition so vividly expressing the outer extent of this world I have yet to discover. If only I was endowed with the artistic skill to describe my visions. All I know is that all of this became evident after the Canarium sessions had started. Even though I am not one of the participants, I am somehow affected. I feel I am absorbed while in an unconscious state into the oblivion, crossing the line beyond the wall of sleep. Lieutenant Ferguson. I'm assuming Lieutenant. So even the people that weren't involved were involved. Was it the device, or were the plant, or was was that the was the device the catalyst and the plants a way to focus it? That's nice. You have such a sweet relationship. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. locked. It's not locked. What do we got here? Painkillers. Just right out in the open. All right, so uh, Dwight's. Mr. Dwight? Wait. Did I lock my door? No. I don't remember where my keys are. Where's Dwight's room? Oh, maybe it's not to his room, but his locker. But honestly, where is Dwight's room? Was he? I thought he was the expedition leader. Why would he be in one of the crew bunks? His coat is just right here. Where is he now? That doesn't make any sense. I found a note about a mental problem. Okay. I've noticed a very curious and dangerous development in the psychological condition of the whole crew that compels me to record this note as an initial diagnosis report. The problem is especially intense for three subjects. Dr. Barlow, Dr. Anderson, and Frank Gilman, oh do, whom I have been inspecting closely since the onset of their psychological degradation. During the past two nights, the aforementioned subjects awoke screaming in their beds, thus affecting and demoralizing all the crew members. When I spoke to them personally, I noticed some serious deviations in their behavior patterns. As time progressed, I noted deep changes in their mental conditions. When really pushed, they clearly started to behave like someone else, which led me to believe I was facing some sort of multiple personality disorder, but it is too early to draw any conclusions. Other subjects are not too far a cry from their normal personalities, but the difference is, of course, obvious. The condition is getting worse day by day, and a serious medical examination is needed to be carried out on everybody displaying such symptoms. I informed Dr. Faust and warned him about the consequences. He looked worried, but nevertheless has mentioned it, hasn't mentioned it to me since. With the weather conditions we have been having lately, it seems extremely unlikely that we shall receive professional help from outside the outside world, or will be able to send anybody away for a thorough medical examination, which is the only sane thing to do under the circumstances. So maybe I was awake. But I wasn't me. That seems to be a problem. Also, what do I do now? Uh, well, what do I do now? Hmm. Locked. Hmm. Because all I got from that key is a note. Oh, I have to go up the. Okay. Wow, I almost completely forgot about that. Uh, I also need to find a sine wave of some sort. Ooh, it's stuck. It's stuck it. Uh, 
This way, right? So much water on the floor. Up we go! Shut up, oh, down we go. Okay. Shadow Man, are you down here? It's a very nice wall. Yep, that's a nice wall. Hey! The hell? We got trees growing down here? That's cool. Where are they already growing down here? That would be odd in Antarctica. It's stuck. Probably for the best. Hi. How are you doing? No, come here. No. 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 You come here, you son of a bitch. Can I put the handle on here? Looks like I need something to get this elevator to work. I guess not. I think the elevator has been set up. It can now reach both the tower and bottom levels below the base. Tower. Camp equipment and parts of, for the portable submarines, dear lord, are being transported to the first campsite. Tower base, tower base, cavern entrance. Are we on base and then there's a tower and a cavern? Oof. How deep does this go? Well, I can't follow the shadowy figure. Then again, who says it can't be in more than one place at the same time? Ah! Biohazard, corrosive and toxic chemicals. Authorized personnel? Nobody! Yeah, this seems like biology lab area. Seems like this was not going good for everyone. Yay. Another handbook. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna close that back up. We'll go in there later. What about in here? Lospiters? You're a very nice tree, aren't you? Good tree. Good tree. Please don't come alive and kill me. Or emit spores that want me to, to make me want to commit suicide. I think that would be negative 10 points to anybody that got that reference. Hmm. Stuck. Sorry for bringing anybody down Stop. that knows what that was from. <laughs> I don't know what that is in the picture. In the back? No. It's a temple. Flooded cities? I can't really read it. Flooded caves. Okay. Provisional camp equipment was deployed to the underground caverns below the base without any problems. Submarines also work great. I would hope so. They are fast and maneuverable beyond my predictions. We have started exploring some parts of the underwater passages, but it is slow going. I would hope so. When you're exploring something like this, you should probably be as careful as possible. Won't open. It's stuck. It's stuck. Only one place to go. I kind of don't want to go in there, but okay. I swear, if I get a zombie virus, I'm gonna be pissed. What the hell is this? It's like a ringing coming from that. Either that, or I'm going deaf. Might be my tinnitus, but um, I, I, I think it's whatever was there, right there. Turn this on? No. Forever in the dark, I guess. Are there any notes? Anything I can read? Oh. Dr. Faust is very tight lips about how he came up with the strange exploration device he built long ago. The only thing he has told me is that he came across some shunned and forbidden volumes about a device of extraterrestrial origin. But again, these sources do not hint that any existed on Earth except in the dreams of those who like to chew a certain alkaloidal herb. The sessions we hold in the meeting room to adapt our nervous systems to the alien impulses of a machine are frightening at first. If used too much, it affects the body to a breaking point. But now I'm used to its non-human sensations. I've started to feel like the device is clearing my mind to make it absorb much more than ever before. I feel unconfined, more receptive. The most peculiar aspects of the sessions are that because it is a shared experience, 
I am able to receive impressions, ideas, and even memories which belong to the other participants. Usually my mind wanders after the sessions end, and I cannot focus my thoughts until I have slept for several hours. That strange device surely distorts feelings and bodily functions, but I believe that what it offers is of immense importance. Oh, you're getting addicted to that shit, aren't you? Who was this? I found a metal cylinder. Oh, it's a photograph cylinder. Okay. Hey, look what I found—a photograph. Unfortunately, one of our researchers, C. Lenning, was found dead in the bio lab last Tuesday. Do what now? The cause of death is currently uncertain. But judging by the accumulation of a mass of green substance found in his mouth and throat area, Dr. Barlow, our botany expert, thinks that Lenning was smothered by small, sticky, greenish clumps that look like pollen, belonging to the living samples of the plant Sahiti, which is thought to have become extinct during the Paleozoic era. Dr. DeWitt will perform a post mortem examination on his body soon. Well, shits. Um, do what now? Somebody died from. Oh, I can replay it. That's actually kind of cool. So, so, somebody, somebody done died from plants, and we've been ingesting plants and uh, eldritch horrors, and <gasps> yeah, we're gonna need to find out what happened in this room because we don't want it to happen to us. But, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. And this has been Boylag signing off. <laughs>